Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Kelly. Welcome to Be In The Change. I'm gonna get started by reciting my inspiration. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, which most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. Like, I like to say welcome to everybody who's watching me for the first time and welcome back and thank you to everybody who has seen me before and has been following me on this journey where I started in 2019 as my New Year's resolution stating I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt followed by a weekly video reporting fear, shame, and guilt is not breaking up with me, but it is. And um, in 2020, it was to be kinder and more compassionate to myself. And 2021 has been to break up with processed sugar, which has been a huge addiction of mine since I was a little girl. I was reporting that, um, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I used to steal money out of my mom's purse to buy candy. So I have had a massive sugar addiction since I was a little girl. And I was um, telling you guys last week that um, the benefits of being off of processed sugar are a lot a lot big, they're not as big as I hoped they'd be, but it's enough to keep going. But I didn't tell you what, what being on sugar was like for me. So, um, you know, my ears would itch all the time to the point that even if I, even if I got a Q-tip, like it was like I couldn't get to the itch. And um, that was a symptom of being addicted to sugar, which I didn't know. Another thing was I ha my nose runs constantly and was running constantly. It has gotten a lot less, but I've always had to keep tissues with me because my nose drips. And, um, and I know that's a result of the processed sugar. It, it still drips, but not as bad. And another thing is, and this is embarrassing. Well, at least it is for me. But um, when I would go to the bathroom, after I got done going to the bathroom, I would still like drip. And, um, and I know that was a sign of being addicted to sugar. And that has gotten way better. And it's like, I'm noticing so and also when I would get up in the morning I would be scared to put my legs on the floor because I didn't know how my body my ankles my legs my knees hurt so bad and and I don't have that anymore um you know I do have pain in my neck and my back because of previous injuries but um I, th I actually thought when I broke up with processed sugar that my neck and my back problems would go away and they haven't. And um, so I'm still working on healing that. And, you know, I was thinking about my video last week and, you know, I feel like this whole world is being shifted. I don't know if you guys know it, but I know it and I feel it and I'm part of this shift. And um, it was like the majority of the world is going in the opposite direction. And, and I am now going with the flow. And as I'm going with this flow, I started to look crazy first because I'm not following the way everybody else is going anymore because it physically made me sick. And it, it was getting bigger and more noticeable to the point that I couldn't ignore it anymore. And it was physically coming out in my body as pain. So um, 
my neck pain, my back pain. I was in a car accident too. So like, it's so hard for me to connect, but it's also previous trauma of that has been passed down from generations. It's been from passed down from ignoring things when um, I couldn't process them or talk about them and they get stored in your body. Whether you realize it or not, it is in your body and it waits for you until you are able to deal with it. And in, in the process right now, I am being shifted out of the black and white world of you need to go to work and make the money first. You need to do everything else first and then you're happy instead of, and then you'll be happy after you do all these things, after you go to school and pay exorbitant amount of money to go to school, you end up paying these huge loans back because it, it looks good. It looks like you're smart. It looks like um, you went to a great school and you paid all this money. It looks like, looks like you bought a house when you didn't. So you have to pay a mortgage back to start your life off and you don't have the house, it's your education. So you get to pay all this money to go to work to pay it off. This is screwed up, it's not right. So anyway, um, the more I realize this, the more I embrace this, um, you know, the more I'm going into the flow of which how life is, is to take care of yourself, to be well, to be happy first, and then the job will come and then the place will come and then everything else will will connect together and, and integrate, not do all this screwed up crap backwards and then you'll be happy, which people are not happy. You guys, I have to tell you, I am the happiest I've ever been in my whole life right now and I'm not working. I am physically taking care of myself as my job. That is my job, to make sure that my body and my health is my number one priority. And it wasn't able to be my number one priority until I was forced to make it to be. And it took a car accident for me to realize I can't keep doing what I'm doing because it's making me sick and it's not good for my body. So for me, it had to get so physical before I could pay attention to it. And I know for a lot of people, it has to get physical first. And that is what happened to me in order to make me shift. So, um, so I pay attention to my body, to my spirit, to my wellness now. And I'm now transforming into, into wellness and health. And, you know, I couldn't sleep the other night. I was in so much pain. I had this trigger point injection in the right side of my neck because I was in so much pain and and that helped so much it made the left side hurt after I didn't realize the left side hurt too but it was more noticeable on the right so today I'm going back to get the left side taken care of so it matches but I got up in the middle of the night and I watched this movie called Heal on Amazon Prime and it was saying what is going on and we have to heal the trauma from our past. And if we do not heal that, we are gonna keep getting sicker and sicker and sicker. And every single person I know has some kind of, some kind of problem in their body. So I decided after I watched this movie that I am going towards functional medicine and, um, and insurance doesn't pay for this stuff yet and I'm gonna go anyway, and I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it, but I know God wants me to heal my body and not just do temporary things and put Band-Aids over stuff um, and pretend like it's not happening. Like I really, really need to heal. And part of me being on social security disability right now is so I can heal my body, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna not contribute to the world I feel like I am here for a reason. I am here for a purpose and I'm shifting. And this has been how I'm shifting. It's God supporting me as I make this shift. So, um, so I am gonna start going to doctors that can help me heal and they're going against 
regular medicine and um, and I have to do that because I need to get better but unfortunately the insurance companies are dictating our wellness and and it's not making us well it's making us sick and I can't stay I can't stay doing this anymore because I'm gonna get better and you guys are watching this video of me recording I am gonna get better so thank you to everybody who's watching please stay safe Stay tuned and I will see you all next week.